What's up guys, the Crimson Gamer here, and welcome back to Let's Play It Moves. Alright, so we left off, this was chapter 3 I believe, and I don't remember, I think it said Labyrinth maybe, or was it the previous chapter, I don't know. Uh, I seem to be in the exact same room. Oh, his eyes are glowing now. I hate these kind of rooms where it just keeps sending you to the same thing. You're getting creepier now. Okay, what the hell? circles here. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. What does this game want me to do? What? Is this a puzzle? thinking we might need to go to here I'm thinking I'm this not a hundred percent but uh, there's blood here so what do I need to do what did I just do I unlock something? Maybe over here? I keep seeing to be drawn towards over here, so... No. This game loves having puzzles, which I'm not good at, so... I don't... Uh... I think there was something here before. I keep thinking that there's footsteps behind me. 
so much the lights on the runway at the airport. Yeah, I mean, this is an airport. Okay, I obviously unlocked one of the doors. I just need to figure out which one it was. This one either. Um, I have a feeling this level has gotten a lot of other YouTubers stuck. So. Hello! Did I unlock something over here? Maybe. No. I hope there's no chase scenes in this game because uh, I don't really like being chased by people. a big fan of it. Oh, it's a mask. Okay. figure out what I open now. I don't... Uh, it's hard to see if I actually unlocked anything because I really haven't been paying too much attention, but from now on I will. I'll make sure to notice if I did anything. I think I might have just gone the exact same way. Yes, I did. I keep feeling like there's someone behind me. I know there's not, but it feels kind of weird. I'm going to assume that these are all linked towards each other somehow, so I'm going to try going down maybe and see if that did anything for me. Uh, down here maybe. Up here? No. Okay. So it wasn't down here. Hi there! Just noticed you there. I hope other people saw that too, and I'm not going mentally insane right now. But maybe the kid's making me insane too. Who knows? Why you be like this? Up here maybe? Now this is just where the first one was. That's all this leads to. What about up here? Does this just lead me to the one entryway again? Uh, yeah, it just leads me there again. I feel like I have to do something here, but maybe not. I'm kind of confused now. Did I try going this way yet? Anything here, maybe? Yeah, I did this one already. Um, Alright, not there. Where could it be then? Maybe somewhere down here? this leading me to baby mask again? I believe it is. So I'm just gonna not go this way. Uh, go up here. Uh, where does this lead me? New area. Alright, this was 
another thing I should have done. Oh. I hope it's not flooding the sewers now. I hope I don't have a time limit to do this, because whenever there's objectives with time limits, I suck. I do not do well with that kind of stuff. So with that said, let's see if this was unlocked. No, perhaps, um, have I been here? Yeah. What does that say? Ake, you, are you, are you, am I what? Okay, maybe down here. Oh, yeah. Okay. What are you? Who cares? <laughs> okay. Why you do that to me, man? Why you doing that to me? You scared the shit out of me. You didn't need to do that. That was I, I believe that was really uncalled for. To be honest with all of you. Um No, we went there already. I'm kinda stuck, I forget where there were, were other things to do. Maybe down here. I'm not too sure, but... Nah, this just leads me over here again. Possibly up here? I don't think I've been here. No, I haven't. Why did I have a feeling I got locked in? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, well, I know where the last one is. I think I do. Yeah, okay. Hello! I don't think I unlocked anything else. I think I just enraged somebody or something. No! Jesus, that scared me. Um... I'm surprised some of these elements are in an RPG Maker game. Holy shit. It's funny how certain words can remain hidden from your mind. No matter how blatant or obvious they are. One word came to me that night, lying there in the darkness alone, frightened and aware of a rotten change in the atmosphere. A thickening of the air as if something had displaced it. As I heard the first casual twists of the bedsheets below, first anxious increased my heartbeat at the re Realization that something was once again at the bottom bunk, that word. A word which had been sent to me into exile, filtered up through my conscious. Breaking free of all repression, gasping for air, screaming, etching, and carving itself into my mind. Ghost. As the thought came to me, I noticed that my help um, welcome visitor had ceased moving. The bed sheets lay calm and dormant, but they had been replaced by something far more hideous. A slow rhythmic grasping breath heaved and escaped from the thing below. I could imagine its chest rising and falling with each sword, sordid, wheezing, and garbled breath. I shuddered and hoped beyond all hope that it would leave without occurrence. The house lay as it had the previous night, in a thick blanket of darkness. Science prevailed, all but for the perverted breath of my as yet unseen bunkmate. I lay there terrified. I just wanted this thing to go, to leave me alone. What did it want? Then something unmistakably chilling transpired. It moved. It moved in a way different from before. When it threw itself around the bottom bunk, it seemed unrestrained, without purpose, almost animalistic. For that thing lying there in the darkness, that thing which seemed intent on terrorizing a young boy, calmly and no challenge sat up. It labored breathing and became louder. Not only a mattress and a few flimsy wooden slats separated my body from the unearthly breath below. I 
lay there, my eyes filled with tears. Your which won't, your words cannot relate to you or anyone else cursed through my veins. This is getting good. I would not have believed that was fear. That fear could have been heightened, but I was so wrong. I imagine what this thing would look like sitting there listening from my or below my mattress, hoping to catch the slightest hint that I was awake. Imagination then turned to an unearthly reality. I began to touch the wooden slats which my mattress sat on. It seemed, it seemed to caress them carefully, running when I imagined my fingers and hands across the surface of the wood. Oh, man. Then, with great force, I pawed the two, the two slats in the mattress. Even though the, even the padding, it felt as though someone had viciously struck their fingers into my side. It let on almighty cry in the wheezing shaking, and moving the thing bone pole applied kindly vibrating the bunk as it had done the night before. Small flakes of paint powdered onto my blanket from the wall as the frame of the bed scraped among it backwards and forwards. Once again I was bathed in light and there stood my mother, loving caring as she always was, with a comforting hug and calming words which eventually subdued my hysteria. Of course she asked what was wrong, but I could not say. I dared not say. I simply said one word over and over again. Nightmare. Damn. Whoa, what? This pattern of events continued for weeks, if not months. Night after night, I would wake to the sound of rustling sheets. Each time I would scream so as to provide the abomination with time to prawn feel for me. With each cry, the bed would shake violently, stopping with the arrival of mother who would spend the rest of the night in the bottom bunk, seemingly unaware of the sinister force torturing her son nightly. Along the way, I managed to feign, feign illness a few times and come up with other less truthful reasons for sleeping in my parents' bed. But more than often, I wouldn't be alone for the first few hours of each night in that place. The room where the light from outside did not sit right, along with, alone with that thing. With time, you come to sir, desensitized to almost anything, no matter how horrific. I had to realize that, for whatever reason, the thing could not harm me when my mother was present. I am sure the same would have been said for my father, but as lonely as he was, waking him from sleep was almost impossible. Waking me, on the other hand, was no trouble at all, thanks to the nightmares. Damn. This game's really intense, like holy shit. Anger Overload. I don't know if I want to play this one. This seems to be a really long... Each uh, chapter seems to be getting really long now. So... I'm going to end this part here. Thank you guys for taking time to watch this video. If you like what you see and want to see more, subscribe to my channel and click the like button below. If you have any suggestions for games for me to play, comment in the box below. And as always, I will see all of you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left.